morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you're at in the world right now. Welcome back to Thumper's Lockpicking. In front of me, I'm working away, making some challenge locks. I had two Yale locks, a uh, cylinder, and uh, whatever this is called. Uh, they are both Yale. What did it say? I don't take my word. They're both yelled. As you can see, as this one, I don't have a key for it. But what I did is I took a tic tac box and I cut by hand the grooves in the plastic uh, the way I wanted it to fit. I, I fitted it in the lock before I started uh, and made sort of a key out of it. And then I just. Uh, hacked away at it, and uh, I'm going to go down to the uh, store in a minute and buy a couple of blanks and uh, put the plastic uh, tic-tac box that I used in my um, little key machine and uh, cut a key for this. But, um, like I said, I already, you know what, I left the plastic key downstairs, she just started from the beginning and showed you the plastic key but I just wanted to let you know what I uh, what I did I just wanted to show you pins um, I didn't care about the plastic key but you can do it so here zoom bottom pins take a look at that bottom pin there mm -hmm. okay that's uh, the first key uh, pin second key pin there is a uh, wild uh, I'm getting wilder and wilder but um, what the heck there's the uh, third fourth and the fifth made that one out of steel on the top I got like a t-pin an hourglass uh, um, spool just a top serrated pin uh, a full serrated pin, uh, uh, upside down hourglass, and that one is made out of steel too. Um, that was a barrel pin to start with, and I just made some sharp uh, spool ends on the end of it. The springs are going to be just a little bit different. Steel, copper, copper, uh, steel. And on the bottom of that steel one there is a little bitty super spring that I'm going to add to it. And then copper and steel. The second lock I made, same uh, plastic key. Um, that's the first key pin there. Call it what you like. I don't know. Uh, my tray is full of shavings. I didn't get a chance to clean it off. Um, so serrated pin, spool pin tapered down, a massive serrated pin, a serration on the top in an hourglass, and a serration on the bottom, a double spool, a double uh, serrated pin, and a sharp top tapered down, um, tapered down spool, I guess you want to call it. Top pins, same thing there, um. Just massive serrations and spools, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one is tapered in. Uh, it's got a spool on the top and a couple of serrations on the bottom. Um, this is just a double serrated pin. This one's a sharp. Uh, you can see the micro serrations I put in it. And then it goes into a spool and a couple of micro serrations on the bottom. Um, the next one there, the fifth one is, uh, I made a mushroom top tapered into sort of a tapered spool, uh, one heavy serration in the middle and tapered down spool at the bottom. And I made a dumbbell out of the last one. So, and on this one, one full super spring, copper, steel, uh, I think that's uh, copper or no, steel, steel and copper. Um, this one's going to be a tough one with that full, um, well, they're both going to be tough. So, that's what I got. I wanted to make a short video. 
Hope you like it. Like I said before, if any of you guys need some help on making pins, or if I can make you a couple, I have no problem. All right, guys. Have a great evening. Thanks for coming back and watching another adventure of Thumper's Lock Picking. And don't pitch your picks in anyone else's lock unless you got explicit permission. Hit that like and subscribe button. And I thank you very much. I'm gone.